Hi there! Affinity is great on the mechanical side. But I feel like we could buy that thing a little bit more by adding a system to create levels dynamically using the 3D model of the thing we are storing in the bin. Let's have a look at how to do that. Here we got the GitHub repository with all the Python scripts, so it's in Python, so it's easy to modify and update and so on. Here you got the instruction on how to install it. You clone it, you're gonna have to use Conda for the packages because it relies on the OCC environment as the open cascade environment that is the tool that is generating doing the 3D render of uh, the step file. I was not able to install that thing uh, with regular pipons and so on. I need the Conda environment. If somebody got a an ID or knows how to do that with regular package managers, I would, I would love to hear about it. You activate the environment, so that is regular. You install all the packages that you need. The GUI is there, it comes with a GUI that, uh, that relies on Qt. And then once you've installed all those packages at home, you can come back in the repository, activate the environment, and run the, the interface with Python main.py. But what we're going to do here, we activate and we're going to do Python main.py. So here we got our main interface with our sticker, first sticker that is automatically created, and we're going to have the interface with all the settings for defining this sticker. By default, the size is going to be 37 mm by 13 mm, so that's going to be the size for one bin, a one by one bin in the grid 3D world. Top corner and uh, top left and top right corner are going to be rounded because in your bin you're going to have the top and the two top corners that are going to be rounded and the two bottom ones are going to be straight. You can choose whatever you want and you can set the radius however you want depending on your corner cutter and how you want it to fit. Um, those settings work fine for me. You can, uh, you can adapt them and it's uh, adaptable on every single sticker one by one. So you can uh, you can create multiple types in multiple formats within one one and only sheet. So we're gonna create a very simple example. We're gonna do M3 knots. Uh, QR code, you can put whatever text in that QR code, so that's gonna be just the data encoded in it. Three model, you're gonna import some step file. In the README, you're gonna get some ideas on where to get some of those step files. Uh, for standard screws, standard nuts, and, and so on. Um, for now, I got this one, for example, for uh, X nut. It's going to generate it. Uh, if the image does not appear immediately, you can play with the angle here to represent, to make it turn, and make it render however you want. It is slow. It is quite annoyingly slow, but I could not make it go any faster than that. There is already quite, a, quite some software that's been done to make it less slow, but it's still not great. You can choose to hide or not the lines that are obstructed. So for example, there it is activated, so we're not seeing the, the threads on that side. And if I disable it, we're going to see all the threads like a, an X-ray. I feel like I prefer with it. Uh, that's uh, the annoying part of this 3D render that makes it very slow, the fact of um, managing to hide the obstructed lines. We got our first sticker. We can make another one and in the same way. You add more and more stickers. And once you're done, you can save it as a, as a test, uh, test page. And that's going to be uh, saved as a JSON file. And once you're done, you can actually print it, and that's going to generate it as a PDF. So that one is going to be the actual render that you're going to have to print. So print test. If we go back into the interface, we can modify and open one of the older uh, JSON that we created before. And for example, this one is going to be the, the one that I already prepared for the empty box uh, that I got with different sizes of knots and so on, and Phillips screws. And if we, if we have a look at, a, at that JSON, you can actually see that, well, you just have JSON. You got the page width and page height that are not selectable in the GUI for now. You can even insert a specific font for the text that is uh, being fed. That also is not available as a setting in the, 
in the GUI for now, but you can modify it in the JSON directly. And then you got the, the list of speakers with all your parameters, just like in the interface there. Uh, editing the JSON can be interesting if you want to use a regex to change uh, all, all the width of your stickers, you realize that, oh, they are not at 37, they are actually at 36. Well, there it's going to be easier to edit than going clicking 50 million times in the group. But now that we got uh, that JSON uh, edited and so on, we could print here, uh, print it here, uh, however you want. And so we out in 5.2ds. And that's going to start generating them one by one slowly. Sounds like it's done. Wait, uh, we got that out in 5 PDF. We can do all our uh, stickers. So now, all we have to do is to actually print it on sticker paper, laminate it, cut it, and then we can install it on our grid, uh, on our grid Trinity setup. Let's do that. We got our labels properly printed and set up in our Greenfinity uh, system in the byte shading spirit of the project. <clears throat> As you can see, this project is still very, very jank. There are many, many ways to improve it and many, many ways to expand it to make different size of labels and so on, putting the QR code on the left instead of on the right. So many options that could be added. In the GitHub project, there are already quite a few issues that I reported myself. Some of them I might work on, most of them, no. I think I'm done with the project, or <laughs> I just spent way too much time on it. Uh, but don't hesitate to, uh, to start a discussion on those if you are interested in working on them, or if you find new ones, which, uh, which uh, yeah, is quite probable you're gonna find new ones. Uh, don't hesitate to report them. Just logging them is already uh, a good start, and it helps a lot to know what goes wrong. And that's it for me. See you around.